Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me, Nate Almighty, and I'm back with another Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4 Theory and Prediction video. And today, I will explain all the evidence that suggests that Salim is still alive and will be Detective Dog Carter star witness against the Tejadas and Tariq, leaving it up to Diana, who, although is very pregnant, will take it upon herself to contact and kill Salim in order to save both her family and make her baby daddy safe as well making carter kill her in return for harming the innocent or we can see a scenario where she attempts to kill Celine, and carter still catches her in the act and kills her all the same and the synopsis for episode six and seven may suddenly be hinting at this happening and we need to talk about this right now this video is going to be yet another banger. So go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel so y'all get this fire every day. Because I'm back. Because this is where you will get the wildest, most creative, and entertaining power theories on the world wide web. Also, if you're a power fan or a power theory content creator, I'm looking to collaborate with all of you in future videos. I'd also love to get you guys on the weekly lives that I do three times a week where we can recap the episodes together and talk everything power and much more as I will be incorporating newer shows into my weekly lives and my weekly breakdowns as well. And if you want to be a part of that, email me at n.almighty1991 at gmail.com or DM me on Instagram at Nate underscore almighty underscore GDA. Now, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, people, as usual, let's break it down like this. We all know what Diana is faced with, what her family is faced with. And we all seen Diana's very last scene of episode five in which she chose to leave Tariq because Tariq said, nah, shorty, we ain't finna leave the game. I'm finna be the best at it. And then that way I can protect you all. We know what Diana's going through. Diana's very much pregnant. She's assuming that Tariq is the father. We know that her family is in the middle of a civil war that Monet is trying to quell. But we all know the direction that Kane and Drew's situation is going. We also know that Tariq is Tariq. His brain chemistry may or may have not turned him into a more savage person. And alas, we have Detective Don Carter letting us know exactly who he is, how he's basically a cop vigilante. And he says, y'all guys could do y'all thing. Y'all could kill other criminals. I'm going to take my percentage. Me and my people are going to take our percentage. Y'all niggas going to pay our tithes. And if you harm innocent people, we will kill you. And then we seen him demonstrate that. Right in front of Monet and Drew Todd. And alas, that brings us to the synopsis for episode six, which will air in September. Episode six synopsis, right? And I'm paraphrasing. But the synopsis basically says that Diana has to make a, a difficult decision. A difficult choice that she didn't necessarily want to make in order to save her family. Now, what could that possibly mean, y'all? What could... What situation... Could Diana possibly be in where she figures that she has to make a drastic move in order to save her family? I'm letting y'all know right now that this possibly implies that Salim is alive, okay? The reason why I want to say that Salim is alive is for the simple reason of this. When Tariq shot Salim, he shot Celine one time, and to me it looks like he may have hit him in the chest, but this may be closer to the shoulder. I'm talking about a straight one shot, in and out, doctors come, close the wound, Celine is still alive type of situation, okay? 
And the reason why I want to say currently right now that I believe Celine is alive is for the simple fact that also Celine was raised by white parents. He probably lives in a gated neighborhood, not the hood, a place where if someone from his zip code calls the ambulance and the police, they will come quickly. Now, if the police were called, and they probably were, because there was a gunshot that went off in this community that is probably 99.9% Caucus Mountains. That means that someone heard the disturbance and not too long after Tariq left, police were called, ambulance was called, Salim's life was saved, okay? Let's also remember the fact that Tariq did not shoot Salim in the head. Now, if the writers wanted Salim to be dead, why would they have Tariq only shoot him once in the area of his body that's debatable? He didn't get shot in the neck. He didn't get shot in the head, right? He didn't get shot in the nuts where he would bleed to death, right? Seems to me that he got shot kind of in the chest, not the center of the chest. He got shot more on the right side, closer to the shoulder. Go ahead and rewatch the scene if you want. I'm currently begging on the fact that Celine the Dream is alive. And now let's take this to Diana and how this all goes into Don Carter and everything else. Upon Diana realizing that Salim is alive, maybe, maybe, come on, Tate, maybe Don Carter himself, maybe one of these people, they question Monet or maybe Diana herself, and they say, hey, listen, we know that you were at Salim's house. And we also know that Salim was shot. Was it you? Was it Tariq? Right? Salim may be talking. And if he's talking, they want him to not only take down Tariq, but everyone else involved. Meaning that Salim could be somewhere in a safe location, but not necessarily in WITSEC yet. Tariq, I mean, Salim is what we call a tender, a sucker for love. And he's also a snake. Y'all see how fast he gave up Diana's location when Tariq pulled up on him and put the gun in his face. He's also foolish. So there's a very good chance that if Diana feels like she needs to save her family, she may feel like I can go talk to Salim, right? and get him to not flip on my family or my baby daddy. And upon visiting Salim at whatever place, Diana may end up talking to Salim and Salim says, yo, I'm giving everybody up. Save yourself. Come with me wherever I go. Diana, in an attempt to manipulate Salim, may say, hey, I'm pregnant, the baby's yours. Tariq think it's his, whatever, whatever. If Salim even goes for that, that's even more motive for him to tell. And because Diana is not the street smartest of the street smart clique, she may realize that she made it even worse for herself. Now, being that things are dangerous out here, we may realize that Diana packed the gun before she went to go see Celine, right? If she packs a gun and she goes and sees Celine anywhere alone, and she realizes that in order to protect her family, including her baby daddy, she got to kill Celine. Here lies the difficult decision that was spoken about in episode six of the synopsis. So now, once we get to the episode seven synopsis, episode seven synopsis says, first of all, the episode seven, eight, nine, and 10 synopsis 
says nothing about Diana. So unless Diana, right, snitches herself and goes to Wissack, or or Tariq and Monet manage to send her away somewhere to keep her safe, Diana probably dies in episode six. But who kills Diana? Detective Don Carter. Okay? The reason why Detective Don Carter kills Diana is because he had close tabs on wherever Salim was at without even letting Salim know. Or maybe he had people following Diana anyway and realized that Diana ended up wherever Salim was at. Salim ends up dead. Don Carter runs down on Diana. He explains how he knows what Diana did. And therefore, he pops Diana. Period. He pops Diana. Diana is dead. Therefore, now, you have the Tejadas. They worried about what to do with the police. Realizing that Don Carter has a lot of power in the force. And they won't be able to prove nothing that he did. They would then have to scrounge, find a way to get some kind of evidence on him. Right? Hence, we have the scene where we have what appears to be Carter pointing a gun at Pinky. Maybe they call Pinky doing something, whatever, whatever. But the synopsis is for every episode after episode six has no mention of Diana. Right? Diana is probably dead. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace. Oh, can't teach that shit, nigga. Come on. That's God-given. That's touch by an That's on the dome, nigga.